you on your table and I think I like it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mikal. I'm an interior designer in Tel Aviv. And as I hope you know, I love to remake super high design for a very tiny budget. That was dangerous. I have seen this wiggly waggly table basically on every single magazine recently and I could not wait to remake it. But I simply did not know that you can cut plexiglass at home. So cheap. Reality has it that you can simply get a precision knife and go and mark on the same corner multiple times and then <laughs> snap it on the corner of your table and you can cut it at home. But if you want to make some more curved edges or more specific shapes, then you are gonna need a jigsaw. But that's the only equipment you need. For absolutely no reason. I'm gonna try to give you instructions that reflect to any size you wanna make this table. So mine is 70 centimeters, but you can totally do this smaller, bigger, huge if you want as a statement in your living room. This is my size. We're gonna have two curves on the bottom, three curves on the top. In my case, it is 70, so I'm gonna go to the half and then half again, and that is 35, the half 35 is 17.5. And that is where I am gonna mark that I want my first curve. Now we're gonna find our half. And the best part is that this is completely transparent so you just can trace it. Thinking, girl, I know you're thinking that I missed one of the curves, but I looked at the picture a hundred times and I can guarantee you that's how it works. The center does not have a curve. You are just gonna make a cut in the middle to clip them like that, and that's how it's gonna hold. I have literally destroyed the first one that I made. Look here, look here. But that is totally fine because we're gonna treat this as an experiment and what I learned, as you can see on this one that is perfect, is that the only problem with this plexiglass, he doesn't like vibration. So while you're cutting it, you need to, need to, need to keep it on the other side with the hand so that you jigsaw here, but it doesn't vibrate. You have to keep it stable because the vibration breaks everything. Ugh. Before we go any further, I need to take a second to thank all my Patreon subscribers for supporting this channel that means so much to me. So thank you Kismet, thank you to my mom, Asia, Shalom, Zari, Leila, and Asam Thiam. Guys, yeah, we're almost there. I already tested this on top of the legs as it is in the square and it looks so cool. But I'm not gonna show it to you so that you can have even the more butt up in my back once it's a circle. To make a circle, we use the same technique as every time. We just get a marker, tie it on a thread, find the middle, and Let's do that. Monday and now let's go see the results.